I believe that fashion is an expression of oneself, that without fashion we wouldn't be individuals. We all have our own type of personality, but it's what helps us identify who we are, what we like, and I believe that someone's fashion has a lot to say about them because if they're not afraid to wear certain things, then that means they're pretty brave. If they're like uncomfortable in their own clothes, that means that they're not very comfortable with themselves. It's kind of like fairly <laughs> where they're all gray blobs. My style is a mix between like crazy patterns. I like colors, but I usually accessorize with colors more. I try to stay with like neutral colors and then wear like a cardigan or something with like a bright color. I'm not afraid of like matching different patterns. I like like the American flag pattern a lot and floral print patterns. I definitely like a lot of like comfortable clothes, so I dress very comfortably all the time. Uh, my style is a little bit of everything. I have dresses and skirts and pants. Sometimes when I'm lazy, I just wear pants and t-shirt and call it a day. But other times when I'm feeling actually like a human being, I dress it up a little bit. Macy's, Paxson sometimes, Victoria's Secret, well, it probably doesn't really count because it goes under the clothes. My favorite store is Forever 21 because it is extremely reasonably priced. I get the best styles for sure from them because you can probably find the same dress at Forever 21 that you can at Urban Outfitters and I have proved that point several times because they are in the same mall together. Quality is also another thing for the clothing. If I want it for like a longer time, I will spend the money on it because if you buy something for, from Forever 21, it's probably not going to last as long. I shop at Sephora often and Macy's. They had a really good clothing brand for a while. Shop a lot at like thrift stores too because you can find unique things. And I find a lot of like clothing brand or marked out of stock items from stores like Target definitely donates their old stuff um, and it's never been used or anything so it's pretty neat. I like Doc Martens, Forever 21, Urban Outfitters and stuff, Unif, Mod Clock, American Rad, it's pretty basic. I like Vans, they always come out with the coolest designs for everything. I do have to say that I like um, like Black Craft Cold a lot, even though their stuff's a little bit expensive and more offensive, but their ideas are pretty on point. I like Betsy Johnson, Jessica Simpson, and American Rag, and Roxy. Those are my favorite. My Doc Martens, which they cost about 90 bucks, I think. Um, actually, that's a lie because I just recently, a couple days ago, I spent $100 on a pair of Nikes. $70 for a pair of pants at American Eagle. Yep. Necklaces, purses, and shoes. Like right now, I'm buying a lot of sunglasses because it's almost summertime. Dresses, and I'm love buying hair accessories. Right now I'm buying a lot of like flower headbands because it's almost summertime. During winter time I buy a lot of like hats and beanies which have just like a hair accessory. My favorite season is fall because fall is obviously the best. You can wear sweaters and you can still wear shorts so it makes sense so people don't look at you crazy when you walk around with like a sweater. Florida. Warm colors, you know, like orange and red, are really popular. Halloween time, dressing up, the whole month of October. It's pretty cool. Fall. So I can dress nice. And, well, technically, fall here is like summer. So I guess winter. Because <laughs> I can wear pants and boots, and long sleeve shirts and jackets. And sweaters are my favorite. my Disney leggings. Bought them, don't wear them. I wore one once, but it was too Disney, so I don't think that really counts. I don't take any risks. I play it safe, it's bad. The 
biggest fashion risk that I have ever taken was a pair of pants that are currently popular right now. They are flowy, they look like pajama pants. I wore them a couple years ago and everyone thought I was wearing pajamas and made fun of me for them. I think it was probably because it was like purple and it was floral print. But I wore a basic shirt so it should have like offset it. social media obviously. I kind of incorporate other styles into my style, but clothing companies in general. I look up to a lot of people like Haley Williams. Dupree, I believe her name is Dupree. She's from um, Isley, so she kind of has like, it's very like floral, but she's still kind of like a rocker, so. The mannequins at Macy's. I don't even know what the trends are. Jeans. Oh, I don't know what the trend, I don't even know what it, what, it, what is it? This. There you go. The floral print. I have always liked floral print. It's just been easier for me to find floral print clothes, so it seems like almost everything I own has some sort of like flower on it. I also enjoy the style that's more of like what you wore when you were younger. The like frilly socks that you can get in the collared t-shirts and the collared dresses, which is something that I wore when I was younger, so it's a little weird, but they incorporated it to make it more of like an adult thing. I stay up to date with um, trends by social media, Tumblr and Instagram. Also, if a band is wearing a specific clothing brand, it's usually because they made it. Um, so I usually try to buy it to support the bands. I look at Macy's and see what's on their mannequins. I want others to perceive me like I got it together. As long as I don't look a mess, I'm good. I want other people to perceive me the way that I perceive them. Everyone obviously judges people you know, and thinks about why they do what they do or how they dress and stuff. People need to be more open-minded about things, like maybe try to understand where they're coming from instead of being close-minded and judgmental.